The Trial Master and the Vol entity it serves, Chaos, are the new main characters revealed for Ultimatum. While neither character has been mentioned in PoE by such name, the Vol civilization is one that is both ancient and familiar, with the ripples of the Vol's actions still affecting current lives on Rayclast. Not much information has been revealed by GGG explicitly, but I still have a hypothesis on who these two are. So let's see if Chaos can be unveiled. The trailer shows us the Trial Master, who is covered head to toe, revealing no skin and no face. The mask he wears looks very similar to a Chaos Orb, which is fitting as the Trial Master works on behalf of something known as Chaos. Whether the Chaos Orbs we already have have any connection to this entity, we'll have to wait and see. But Vol Orbs also have this Russian nesting doll motif. The trailer doesn't tell us much about the character, but the content reveal gave me more clues. The Trial Master steps out of portals that look like dark tendrils with blood in the center, sandwiched between two floating gold pyramids. The pyramids look like they have the glimpse of chaos unique inscribed on one side. When you begin a trial, a red energy leaps out of the Trial Master forcefully, entering the totem at the center. And in a short glimpse at the inscribed maps or a potential new boss encounter, the Trial Master seems to be pulling a staff out of his chest, emitting more red energy and growing larger. What's important in these clues is both what we see and what we don't see. What we see is some energy force that looks like blood, fitting for a vol, that the Trial Master is wielding or at least expelling. The Trial Master always comes to us through a portal or we enter his domain. He doesn't seem to just hang around in maps like the Envoy did. And what we don't see is any amount of skin or features, even when he's pulling a staff out of his own chest. So here's my theory. The Trial Master is not a person. The Trial Master might be a machine or an entity that is more so operated by Chaos than serving it. And I think that Chaos might be Doriani. I know, I know, Doriani is a tired trope. We all want to see him, and he's been teased several times to no avail. So what makes me think Chaos could be Doriani? Or what makes me think Doriani isn't dead? Siosa himself reads a Vol page he transcribed that tells us Doriani died when he tried to commune with the beast. We enter the hole Doriani made, Doriani's cradle, in Act 9 and we see no signs of him there. But that same page also says that Queen Adziri is dead, and GGG themselves stated in their announcement of Sacrifice of the Vol that Adziri still lingers in a Nightmare Realm. The term Nightmare Realm invokes the Beast and its powers, and we've seen that those who enter the Beast do not necessarily die. Malachi survived for almost 300 years inside the Beast. Could Doriani have survived almost 2,000 years, tied to the beast in some different form? There are only a few mentions of chaos in the game that seem potentially related to this new being called Chaos. Malagaro's manifesto, where he talks about his work with Malachi, has the delightful chaos I envisioned for this poor, dull world. But more compelling is Tasuni when he talks about seeing Malachi while Malachi is still in the Beast. I see him in my dreams, refining the chaos of Nightmare into a vision. The chaos of Nightmare? Perhaps he just means that the Beast's Nightmare is chaotic, that it needed to be funneled by a man like Malachi's vision. But if this new being, Chaos, is a Vol entity, I highly doubt his given birth name is Chaos. It seems like a mantle an entity would choose for themselves to represent them. And if Doriani has been in a nightmare realm so long, the Beast Nightmare, Chaos may be an apt name. Yes, Malachi did remain alive in the Beast because he took out his own organs to tether him to mortality. But the flavor text on Malachi's entrails reads, My organs tether me to mortality like a chain. This chain holds me from my true potential. What 
true potential did Malachi not achieve? I doubt Malachi saw his own death as true potential. Likely there was a more direct, less mortal connection he could have had with the beast and nightmare if he hadn't taken out his organs as a tether. Perhaps Doriani has achieved that. Death in the nightmare realm is a bit convoluted. Even Diala acknowledges that when we kill Doreso or Kaum, we're killing something that is already dead. And undead. Doriani might not be alive in every sense of the word, but maybe his spirit has remained within the nightmare and can still manifest in the world, or at least control something in it. Why I think this might be Doriani operating some machine he's named the Trial Master is the visual connections between the Trial Master, the new trials and maps, and Doriani's machinarium specifically. Doriani was known not just as a master of thaumaturgy, but as an inventor. He strove to bring the Vol to the greatest heights, in both power and knowledge. We haven't seen Doriani directly, but his map implies he was into mechanics, both in its name and seeing all the devices intended to hurt us. I immediately noticed the connection between the Trial Master's red and blue choices, and the red and blue in the Machinarium. Red for the Vol, blue for Doriani's inventions. In addition, you get three choices in the map that determine your reward, similar to the Trial Master's three choices of Trial. And on the ground are symbols encased in circles, some we've seen many times, like the triangle in a circle that appears in Adziri's Realm and the Vault Oversoul in Act 2. But there are many more symbols on the ground. There's a circular symbol under the Trial Master we see briefly in the trailer when he's pulling a spear out of himself. I can't make out what the symbol could be, but maybe it's the same as the symbols around your choices in an ultimatum trial. It almost resembles a gear, like the rings we see around the Vault Oversoul or Apex Assembly. If Doriani created these entities and this machinery, he could create a puppet to do his bidding, the Trial Master. Even if the Trial Master isn't fully mechanical, the Vol sacrificed and used many people for their own ends, and those people gave themselves willingly. I believe Doriani is clever enough to have created the Trial Master to act on his behalf. Further connecting Doriani to Chaos, the reward from the Machinarium, Doriani's Delusion Boots, have a fleshy skull on them, and the new unique item, Glimpse of Chaos, looks like a fleshy red skull. Could this unique be as literal of a hint as the name implies? Malachi in The Beast has a skull head as well. There are even red skulls on the blue pillars that you escort through Doriani's Machinarium. Sure, it's a reach, but I think it could be connected. But the real question is why now? Why, after all this time, would Doriani come back to test us? What benefit could he have from giving us these rewards, or creating the Trial Master in the first place? He could be looking for a new emissary for the Beast, to bring someone into this Nightmare Realm and gain true potential. He could need a new puppet if he was using someone's body for his Trial Master. Maybe he wants to eliminate the only real threat the Beast has ever faced, by luring us in with promises of riches and power. We are, admittedly, very greedy. Maybe Doriani's just bored. It has been 2,000 years. Honestly, I have no idea, but I'm dying to find out. And I'll be dying for that sweet, sweet loot. Thank you so much for watching, it's your boy Noodle. I hope you enjoy these theory videos as much as the regular lore videos, because they're really a lot of fun to make, even if I might be wrong sometimes. If you like the videos, come stop by my Twitch, follow me on Twitter, or join my heckin' Patreon for some cute cat pics. It always feels great to have lore fans popping into streams, so come say hi if you do catch me live. We're about to indulge in some chaos, so please, stay sane, exiles.